Y'all wanna work? Let's work. Is y'all in Atlanta? That's what I need to know. Is y'all in Atlanta? What's up, y'all? I'm sorry I'm late. I was on a phone call. Well, a couple phone calls. I look like my baby. My baby look like me. Oh. I really just wanted to do the live, you know what I'm saying, to kind of address a couple things. Um, I feel like I feel like some things, you know what I'm saying, have been addressed. Oh, thank you. Pretty without makeup. Thank you. I like wearing makeup too though. I ain't got on makeup on right now, but you know. <laughs> I'm doing good, I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing good. Just been working. I be recording myself at the house right here. You know what I'm saying? So I record myself at the house and then yeah, get it mixed and stuff like that. But yeah, so let me get into the reason why I wanted to do this live. I kind of just wanted to address some things. You know, I've seen the Breakfast Club interview with my baby daddy, and I just wanted to kind of address the address it from my my standpoint, because I feel like he kind of get to, you know what I'm saying, say his story and, like, where he coming from with it, but I haven't, you know what I'm saying, I don't have the platform, the same platform to give my side of the story, so I just wanted to give my side of the story. And I just, let me put this out there first. Like, I really appreciate him stepping up because, you know, it's been a long fight for me nine months of being pregnant and not being able to contact or reach the person that you're pregnant by that was hard for me like i he said that it was hard for him to not you know what i'm saying have been in her life it was hard for me you know what i'm saying i was pregnant i was reaching out to him i got blocked on social media i got blocked from his cell phone he changed his number you get what i'm saying like i had no choice but to contact his mother when i did through facebook you know what i'm saying and um I appreciate him accepting responsibility somewhat, but for him to put it to the media like how he's putting it, to put the blame back on me, I feel like it's kind of um Because it was both of our faults. We both created this child together, you get what I'm saying? I've been telling you, I've been asking you from a D, for a DNA test since I was pregnant, and you, and you blocked me off everything, you get what I'm saying? You was running from that because I... Apparently you had another relation. You had a relationship with somebody. I didn't know about you never told me about this You get what I'm saying? I found out when you posted the sonogram on social media is when I found out that you had another baby on the way And how I found out is Talaysia daddy texts me like oh, he must be stepping up to the plate I'm like man, that ain't my baby. That's how I found out. I was four months pregnant when I found out You get what I'm saying? So it's just like it's just an insult to what the I went through when I was pregnant. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't have nobody when I was pregnant. I was living in Atlanta. I had that baby by myself in the hospital by myself. I had a C-section. I had to get myself out the bed so I could grab my baby so I could feed my baby. By myself. I didn't have nobody. You know what I'm saying? I had her as a newborn by myself. One of my closest homeboys is like a brother to me. He had to step up so I could go back to work so I could pay the bills. I never went public. So don't think that this live here is for clout chasing or nothing. It's just for expressing my 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 side of the story or what women go through because i feel like low-key he kind of put the blame back on me by saying that you didn't know me when it was both of our faults you get what i'm saying yes i got pregnant the first time we had sex yes yes i did you get what i'm saying we didn't live in the same city so it's not like we had a relationship together we wasn't in a relationship it was fourth of july you get what i'm saying so it's just like it happens you get what i'm saying but I still never went public with it i never wrote your wrote the other woman that was pregnant and started no because I, I try to be understanding of the fact that, like, okay, he living this lifestyle. It's probably a lot of girls that lie about like this. So I try to be understanding of that. And I try to be compassionate and, and not, you know what I'm saying, go to the public when I was pregnant. I knew whose baby I was. Don't make it seem to the public I didn't know who my baby daddy was because I knew who my baby daddy was. People back in the city knew who my baby daddy was. Well, they knew it was one of the Migos. A lot of people thought it was Quavo for some reason. I don't know why. But... A lot of people knew what was going on. You get what I'm saying? My baby's name is Kalia. It starts with a K. I knew what I was naming my child. My child still has my last name to this day. You get what I'm saying? And um, even I, and like I said, I'm not trying to take nothing away from him because he has came a long way. He's came a long way. He has. You get what I'm saying? But don't make me look so... Cr don't try to put the blame on me like it was my fault. 
to the public because you're trying to be like you you're trying to put the blame off of you you're not accepting full responsibility and that's and it's just like you you didn't you didn't have to mention that part granted i mentioned it when i did stand your ground yes i mentioned that when i first before you even you didn't meet Kalia till she was one years old let's put that out there you didn't meet her till she was one when you got locked up in bullet county that's how I knew how to reach you because you blocked me off everything. You blocked me off social media. You blocked you blocked my number. You changed your number. I used to send you your booking email emails, whatever email that you gave me. You know what I'm saying? I, I used to send that emails when she was born. I sent her pictures. I was just like, well, let me just wait. You know what I'm saying? I understand that he might not know if I'm telling the truth. He don't trust me. I was telling you to get a DNA press, a DNA test since I was pregnant because that's possible. There is such a thing. Don't put the blame like it was just on me as to why you just started coming around. Like as if like we didn't have no contact with each other. Or it was just like a like a like a one night stand and I didn't have your number even type shit. Like I told you what it what it was. You get what I'm saying? And it's just like don't don't have me looking out looking crazy out here trying to justify why you wasn't trying to step up whatever for whatever reason that you wasn't trying to step up. Like I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Probably because I wouldn't shut the fuck up. You know you can't silence me. I'm going to talk. I'm going to get attention regardless because I've been doing music. I was doing music before I met you. I've been doing music. You get what I'm saying? And you know I was hard. But I'm still hard. To this day, I keep getting better. But what I'm saying is that it's just like don't don't try to put that shit on me, man. Like it was just all my fault, period. Like I appreciate that she has you now. I'm so appreciative of that because that's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever wanted. But you're not going to have me looking out here like I didn't know who the fuck my baby daddy was. I knew it was yours since the jump. You get what I'm saying? And it's just, yeah, that's all. That's all I just wanted to say. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And I just, you know, again, I'm appreciative. I just, I don't like the narrative that's being spun. Like, it's like, you could have seen if that was your baby. You know what I'm saying? I was begging. I was trying to tell you when I was pregnant, since I was pregnant for a DNA test. Like, like, um, not to try to bring him in this or whatever, but just for an example, like, Solo Lucci in the left sky. You get what I'm saying? Like, he felt like that could have, it, it was a possibility of being his baby. Like, he kept on trying to reach out to this girl for a DNA test, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. He kept, he kept going because he don't know if that's his baby. He trying to figure it out so he could, so he could do his part, so he could get that off his conscience. You didn't do that. You get what I'm saying? You try to run the other way. And it wasn't until, as of recently, but again, you get what I'm saying? I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to be appreciative of the fact that he actually did step up because every child, I feel like, needs their father. Little girls need their father. You know what I'm saying? She loves her daddy. She loves her daddy. Don't, don't take, don't take what I'm saying with today's presence. I'm just reflecting back on the past from my standpoint. He giving the baby daddy standpoint. I'm giving the baby mama standpoint. Don't nobody know what the it felt like to sit in that hospital bed with a cut across my stomach having to get myself out the in bed by myself so I could feed my baby. I did that shit by myself. Ain't nobody say sorry to me for that. You get what I'm saying? And it's just like, I just feel like it's fed up. It's a, it's a fed up way to try to put it back on the woman, of course, to try to put it back on the woman's fault. Oh, I didn't know her. We didn't know each other. We created this child together. It was both of our responsibility. It was equally our responsibility. And you didn't step up till recently. She's about to be four years old. She's about to be four years old. You didn't meet her since she was one years old. When I sent you the pictures, and that's what I was talking about in Stand Your Ground. When I said I introduced my daughter through a letter, I sent him pictures because I knew where he was at. He was in jail. I knew how to get in contact with him. I wrote him, and I sent him pictures of Kalia. He caught me. You know, dang, yeah, I know that's my baby, man. You know, she look like me, and, you know, I'm going to take care of my baby. I take care of all my kids, that is and that. He was probably locked up in Bullet for, like, what, maybe four months? Didn't hear from him after that first phone call. Didn't hear from him. He asked me for a DNA test at, at that first phone call. He was like, if you don't mind, you know what I'm saying, we can take a DNA Of course not. I've been trying to get you to take a DNA test. You get what I'm saying? But um, then I didn't hear from him. I didn't hear from him when he got out. The only reason I was able to get through to him is because of reading an article I seen where they had listed his mother's name. And I looked her up and I wrote her on Facebook and I introduced her to her granddaughter that way. His mother was the reason that made everything possible. She's been an angel in this whole situation. She's been a blessing and I appreciate her so much. And I'm sorry if she feels some type of way about, you know what I'm saying, about me regarding about this. But I just had to give my standpoint because... Don't make it seem like it was just my fault. Period. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. 
appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, and that's it. Women, be careful. Be careful because you never know what the hell going on. You never know what to expect dealing with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could have handled that situation completely different. He could have just talked to me about the situation. Like, I didn't know that he had another baby on the way until he posted a sonogram on Instagram. And my first baby daddy told me about it. You get what I'm saying? That's when I, that's when I, that ain't my baby. I don't know. I'm blocked off everything. What I'm supposed to do? I'm four months pregnant. I already know I'm having a girl at this point. What I'm supposed to do? What I'm supposed to do? Do what the f a mother does. She's standing to paint regardless. We don't have no fucking choice. We don't have no choice. So for him to be like, that was the hardest time of his life when he wasn't around. Really? Was it? Was it really? <laughs> was it really? That's it. That's all I got. Lulu. What you doing, mama? Watching that. Watching your food. Watching you look pretty today. You heard me? Lily, you look pretty today. You're welcome. Thanks. Oh, my beautiful baby. So long hair. Yes, we having lunch, baby. And they straighten. Ha. <laughs>